Yo everybody, Shock16 back once again for the Renegade Master. It's February and I'm in the games room and there's new things been going on in this room. So it's time for an update. Um, yeah, quite a bit's been added since you last saw it. I mean, I had bookcases in, I had a sofa in. What else did I have in? The tumble dryer. The good old games room tumble dryer mod that everybody's going crazy for right now. 2015, it's all about that tumble dryer. But yeah, um... You saw the bookcases, you saw the sofa, you saw the tumble dryer and stuff like that. And that's about all I had in here, isn't it? So, yeah. Quite a few things have been added. So, first thing you might notice is curtains. We've actually got some curtains now. That's right. Curtains. Everybody needs curtains. Shut out the outside world when you're on gaming. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to turn the camera around and hopefully, because I'm plugged in at the minute because my camera's out of charge so hopefully I can kind of move within the confines of the cable so anyway I'm going to flip you around and yeah we'll do a little kind of whiz round um, just like to say this is very much still in work nothing is in its right place yet but yeah basically I've shoved stuff on the shelves I've kind of spread it out a bit and yeah I just basically want to show you what's been added what's in the games room now and yeah but yeah, it's nowhere near how I want it, so. Like I say, let's flip you around and we'll have a look anyway, so. Right. So the first thing you might see is we now have a CRT on that stand in the corner there. So yeah. White curtains, tumble dryer, sofa. You've seen that before. And we have a CRT. 14-inch um, Panasonic, I think that is, in the corner. As you can see, it's not plugged in yet though, but it sits nice well. Basically, there's going to be another unit that sits directly under there. Oh, you can see a glimpse of something else there as well. But yeah, basically, there's a unit going in that corner, which is going to have like CDs and stuff on it. CDs and stuff. Um, CD-based game. Basically, there's going to be like a PlayStation 1 collection on there and stuff like that. But yeah, I've already sorted a unit out and it fits nicely under there. And then that cable will be plugged in down to a socket down there and it'll be hidden by the unit. So, yeah, cracking stuff. So, yeah, anyway, the, just step back. So, yeah, there's the um, Trinitron. So, just sit down in the sofa. So, yeah, there's the Trinitron. I can't remember what screen that is now. As you can see, it's not in the best of condition if I zoom in there. Look, the power button's had some bashing. <laughs> So yeah, it's not the best nick, but for the equivalent of about a tenner, what do you want? A tenner for a Trinitron. You can't go wrong, can you? So yeah, nice white unit there, consoles on it. Got some consoles, I've got the, a bit dark under there. The Saturn. That's just some um, controllers. Oh, PlayStation 2 under there, I think, somewhere. Um, Mega Drive on the bottom, Mega Drive 2. Bag with some shit in it. The... Neo Geo AES and the controllers for the AES. So that's all I've got under there. Yeah? Nothing is actually wired in at the minute because I'm waiting on a new um, switch box. Basically, my old one kind of died a death and it only had um, four ports on it. The one I'm getting now can hook about, up about four consoles up to it just on that one box through AV. So yeah, that's, that's quite cool. So yeah. I've got two tellers and I've got a unit now for consoles, so yeah. They'll be coming off there and another console will be going in there, another console in there. Another console in there, and I don't know if I'm going to keep the Mega Drive there or not, but yeah. That's for another update. So we've got that in there, a unit and TVs. So yeah, tripod already set up, ready for the Friday night fight, that's right guys, that's coming soon. So, because I'll be sitting there playing on there and that'll be recording my face cam. So yeah, um, if we zoom out, you can see that I've now got shit on the shelves. Still got random shit down there. Oh, trainers, wood, polystyrene, boxes, that one there, that white one. That's got a Japanese Sega Saturn in it, ready to come out. So yeah, you can see I've got the AES collection there, PS2 Fighter collection. With a bit of PS3, I kind of heart free there on it, but yeah, AES that's my original PlayStation 2 collection that fitted 
perfectly onto that shelf, by the way. It was made to measure, but every game in there is every game that I had was my original, basically, when the console was current gen. So, yeah. Up there, we've got the shit shelf. <laughs> basically, we have just shoved stuff in our few PS1 games. PS3, I think, is on there as well, and Xbox 360. Guinness Book of Records and stuff like that. Some Dreamcast on there, I think, as well. But yeah, that's not staying there. Up there, got a Game Boy shelf for now. As you can see, we've got the Pixel Art Ken, um, which was made very kindly by Retro Game Crusader, Kev. Ah, uh, Kev. We've got my humble boxed Game Boy collection there, the Super Game Boy on top, and the Game Boy case behind it. Do do do. Up there, we've got my very humbler. <laughs> <laughs> Super Nintendo collection, box Super Nintendo collection with Yoshi guarding it all with the Mario Kart Wii box. Um, yeah, we've got the Saturn joystick. Uh, what's that? The Super Pad that was donated to me by Scratchmaster Dow. But uh, we've got the Virtual Gun. I could step around. We've got an extra pad. We've got a few Japanese Sega Saturn games. And of course, we've got. Panzer Dragoon Saga up there, waiting to go in the collection. And yeah, there's um, the Sega Saturn collection spanning across four shelves at the minute. Oh, five, almost five. It will probably go onto that shelf there. That's my very, very, very small <laughs> Sega Mega Drive collection. But yeah, I've got, as you can see, I've got empty shelves there, empty shelves there, and of course, they're doing fuck all at the minute, apart from ours and some crap that's being thrown at. See, that's, that's most of my Saturn collection on there now. That is nearly, that is 38 games short of a full power set there. So yeah, and I've got some in the post as well, so that should be almost done this year. And then, of course, I've got the empty boxes up there. I've got this Saturn. Actually, that Saturn box isn't empty. It's got a power Saturn in that one because the one I've got down near the TV that is a region modded one, and of course I've got the Jap one in there. Uh, yeah, PS3, Xbox One, Xbox 360, Wii, um, Super Scoot that come f I bought off um, Retro Dave Nintendo. Um, Super Nintendo and that Mario 25th anniversary. Behind the Wii up there as well, you can probably just see it. I've got the Wii Fit. Yeah. And Dow, you'll be pleased to know that the um, Pac-Man canvas has now been hung properly. It's not just resting on a shelf. So, yeah, I told you that was going to go up. So, that's up there. Um, three to one, you're back in the room. Focus. Right, so, yeah, basically, that's all I wanted to show you. Just a little bit of an update. A few things, like, say, TV cabinet, got the consoles in there now, I've got most of my Sega Saturn collection in there, I've got other collections in there, I've got all my consoles in there, I've got the canvas up, um, but yeah, very, very much um, far from complete yet, far, far, far from complete. That Saturn um, collection needs going in alphabetical order, that's right, because they just, like I say, I just dumped them on the shelves to... So they're not in boxes. I don't like stuff in boxes. I don't like them collections in boxes. They all just went up on the shelf, but it needs sorting out. They need um, going in. And when, once that's done, then I'll probably give you a proper room tour of like what's on the shelves and what games I've actually got. But yeah, it needs setting out better. And yeah, but like I said, I just didn't want shit in boxes, so it went up there for now. But yeah, as you can see, it's starting to take shape. I've got some. I've got an area to play. I've got TVs to actually play stuff on now unit to actually put the consoles on and most of my games are in here now so lovely stuff how loud do you want your car every time i am filming does a loud car go past my ass that's what you get for living on a main road i guess but yeah um, anyway that's it february update of the games room see you later i'll be shot 16 you've been great this has been the games room february update